Hey, hey, y'all. This is Casey from Pizzazz. I am popping in again. I told y'all we're going to be coming on a lot in the next couple of weeks, just showing you fun little uh, things that you can do just like to add peace and play into your everyday. Y'all know you have probably heard us say that before. We truly have seen the benefits over the past, gosh, 14-ish years that we've been teaching art to kids and adults. We see so much of the benefits um, to your mind, your body, your soul when you just take a bit to stop your busyness and to just create. And oftentimes that doesn't have to be a lot of fancy supplies. Now we like playing with fancy supplies, <laughs> so we like doing that, um, but it can be very simple things too. So today, this afternoon, I'm just going to take you through a little bit of lettering, just one phrase, just this, you got this phrase. We're just going to letter that. You got this. We're going to go slow. If you want to join uh, with us, grab a marker. I'm just going to be using, a, well, I'm going to be using a pencil and then a Crayola marker. So any marker will do. There are fly. If there's a fly. I left the back door open earlier, taking the pup out. And now there's a fly in here. Oh my God, don't get my coffee. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're going to be taking you through that. You will also see at the top of this, um, hang tight. I'm going to put my coffee over here with a sheet on top of it so that's why I don't lean on it. Um, you will also see in the top link uh, on this post, you should see something for our clipboard uh, workshop coming up. So let me tell you a little bit about that and then we'll dive into our lettering for today. So um, it is fun to take a plain brown clipboard and turn it into some cuteness okay we like making plain things cute so we are going to uh we did this the other day if you did if you want to see how to do this i think this was yesterday we did this live you can check our uh, facebook page for this um but we love just taking regular things and making them a little bit extra cute and with school coming up these are great for um teacher gifts or really just for yourself like to keep things in line um even if you are out of that stage of life and don't have uh kids in school or teacher gifts for um they're really clipboards are just like you can use them for a bazillion different things even just to hang um hang up your other art <laughs> you know what i mean like so you might have a cute little something kind of like this and just have it hanging on the wall and just change it out. So that's another fun way to um, to use these. But, um, you know, somebody asked what we were supposed to do with it. And you can do whatever you want to do with it. It's just a clipboard. We just make it cute. So that's $10. It's coming up July 27th, 28th, and 29th. Um, it's just, uh, it's inside a private Facebook group. So you can check it out. We're teaching it live, giving away prizes live. But we will, you will have the replay to it afterwards as well. So let's do our little fun piece of play for today. All right. So I've just got some, some just some regular Bristol paper. I'm going to put it on the clipboard just to stay within the clipboard thing. Let me also tell you inside the workshop, we will be going over lettering a little bit more, but you will also get, um, you're going to get, we're going to show you both of these. You can do one or both. But we're going to give you the lettering kind of traceables for both of these phrases for you matter and for no more stinking thinking okay so you'll get both of them all right so for you got this ah, okay well let's do that all right so for you got this we are going to grab a pencil we're always going to kind of think about how we're going to lay it out first so i'm going to do you and then got, and then this, okay? Now, that's not the only way we could do it. We could have done a big U and then got this under it, like two lines. Um, there's lots of different ways to lay it out, um, but I'm just gonna do one word on each line. You got this. All right, so we're gonna start with the, the first part of the Y. There. Then I'm going to bring it down and kind of swirl it around. But right here, I'm just going to kind of let it be for a second because I'm already thinking if I'm going to do the word got down here, it has a T in it. It might be kind of cool to pull this tail as the cross bar of the T. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of leave it there and we'll see. So there's my Y. I'm going to do my O. It's going to be here. It's going to come up high. And back. One line. I hope you are starting to see the lettering is just one line at a time, one shape. And there. 
Okay, so we have the U, we took it one shape at a time. We didn't pick our pencil up. Um, non, I mean, I'm sorry, we did pick our pencil up, but we didn't leave it down. Oftentimes when you're learning cursive as a kid, we we're taught to, you know, never pick it up. But with hand lettering, hand lettering is not your regular handwriting. I wish I could show you all my planner. If anybody were to see my planner, <laughs> which I know a few people, I think Kaylee saw it yesterday. I think her eyes were like, oh, uh, because it is a bunch of chicken scratch. It is my thoughts. It is my ideas. It is quick. It's this. It's my to-do list. It is not hand lettering. It is my handwriting and it's quick and messy. And uh, uh, <laughs> but, but hand lettering is different. That's when you slow down, you treat it like art. You're drawing the shapes and the lines. So don't say just because you don't have good handwriting that you can't do this. Just, just my little, my little mm, mm, out there. Okay, you, now we're going to do forgot, not forgot. We're going to do got. There's that part. We're going to come down and curl it here. We're just going to let that hang out there too because we're not super sure what we're going to do there. We might let it go into another word. Maybe not. Let's just see. You. There's the O. And the T. So now I want to think, do I want to use this to come across there? I am not. I'm just going to, I could have. That's why I left it. If it was a little bit closer, I might have. I'm just going to do it like that. But now this right here, this, the way it's coming over, it might hit that crossbar of the T just perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of do it like this. And here's that. T. See that? Now watch what else we're going to do. This is a fun TH that I teach a lot, but it's, we, we connect the T and the H a lot, but this time we're going to connect it from the G to the T and the H. Okay. A little more fun there. So we're going to come around. That's the first part of the H. Here's the second part. Y'all see that? So even though this looks like one long line, we took it in sections so we could think about it. That's why, like, again, this is like a piece of art. It doesn't just roll out your hand the perfect way the first time. You got to think with it, tweak it, you know, erase things if you need to, do things in sections. Um, so anyway, that is that. Here's the I. And then we're going to come up like this, down and over for that S. All right, so we've got that all penciled out. Now it is time to add the color color. So we will do it with, I'll do this color. So we're gonna first just trace. This is just a Crayola super tip. I like um, the, the width of this. Yeah. Now this is fun. Y'all watch this. Even though we did it in sections earlier, it's all one line now. Woo! Y'all see that? <laughs> it's all one line like that. All right. So we went over it with our um, pen or with our marker. Now we're going to come back in, thicken those down strokes which is just basically drawing some shape to the side of these wherever you're going down. I'm gonna get it all drawn first so we don't have to think about it anymore. Everywhere that we're going down, that's where we're thickening this shape up. Okay, now you could totally leave it like that or you can come back in and thicken it a little bit. Do you see how after you do the thinking, then it's kind of like just coloring it. <laughs> it's kind of, this is where it kind of just slows you down. When we talk about that piece and play, it's where it kind of comes in. So yes, you're kind of being playful and thinking and doing some art. But then once you start slowing down and just adding the color, it's super peaceful too. Now, if you get hung up on perfection, you're going to take away the peaceful aspect to it. So we're not hanging, getting hung up on perfection. We are just 
simply lettering, trying new stuff, getting this down and not just lettering anything, lettering a message that we need to see. Okay. <laughs> so are you starting on a new journey? Uh, are you, is there a big challenge in front of you? Like the, you might, these words might be just what you need to have in front of you. So, um, so we, the, you matter, maybe just what you need for yourself. It might also be just what you need. If you're holding this in a classroom and doing whatever thing you're doing. And this back is showing to all the kids who are there or all the campers or all the Sunday school class or who, whoever's reading this, they need to be reminded of that too. No more stinking thinking. Okay. Again, things we are not just lettering just for the sake of lettering, but we want to letter to fill our minds with things that are going to um, help us to be the best version of ourselves and to focus on truth. And so again, like yesterday, we talked about format. Kind words are like honey. Sometimes we got to be reminded of that because sometimes sometimes we just want to find the negative you know and or we might want to gossip or whatever like let's think about you know what is coming out of our mouth so we don't just letter just for lettering sake even though it's fun we want to letter things that fill our mind and our heart with good stuff too um all right so i'm going to i'm going to maybe add a little bit of a drop shadow on some of these or like a, just a little lime shadow I'm not going to go over this super in depth. Um, it's just a little line kind of on the right side or up underneath. Kind of see how it's, I don't know if you can even see from there. So it's on the right side and underneath some of the letters. I'm just going to do it just so it doesn't get to look like too much. I'm going to do it on you and this. So this is just an easy way to do like just a simple little shadow. It's just a line, just a little line that gives it just a little pop of color. Let's see. So that is that. That is your little piece of play for today. If you want to see this one, we did it yesterday. Uh, we'll be coming at you with more every single day. And if you want to get signed up for our, um, a clipboard challenge we're going to do this over the course of three nights just to break it up so that no night has to be a long night um that we're just going to talk and learn three nights 30 to 45 minutes every night um it should be fun so be sure to sign up like i said you do get the replay so even if you can't make it live you can um you can join in, but the most fun and the most progress we see that people actually do it is if they put it on their calendar to join us live, or at the very least, the next morning, they catch the replay. If you're doing it while we're doing it, you have a lot more likelihood of, of doing it. <laughs> so um, we'd love you to join. Let us know if you've got any questions. If you try this out, we want to see it. Give us a little, a little picture down there in the comments so we can see what you're doing. All right, y'all. See ya, see ya.